Welcome Dark Players 1 and all. Today on Straight to the Point, we're going to be counting down my top 15 most unusual throws. Throws you really don't want to be copying. First up, we all knew he was going to be in it, so why not start off? Mensa Selovich. One of the only players on this list to get right to the top of the game in the PDC. Always pulled the dart quite far back to the side of his face, which is rather unorthodox. But since a battle with dart us, that setting up of the dart, spinning it round, is very, very strange. Next up, we've got Magnus Karis. Brilliant player, had much success in the BDO and some in the PDC. But look at that arm. Literally, no follow-through at all. He only follows through with the fingers and the wrist. Due to being a very big guy and using a very heavy dart, he does, however, get away with it somehow. This player played a classic game in 1994 against Bobby George and in the Winmau World Masters against Martin Adams, the eventual winner, in 2011 as well. A real steady Eddie player. Next up, a teammate of mine, Mr. Mark Layton. Sorry you're on the list there, Mark. Welsh captain, as well as played in the Lakeside World Championship a couple of years ago as well. Real weird hopping movement as he lets go of each dart and sets the dart quite strange as well with a snatchy release. But man, can this guy throw a dart. He's appeared twice on TV, once at the Lakeside World Championship and another at the Windmill World Masters. Next up, we have Tony Dawkins, a man who took up darts on opposite day. Everything he does, the textbook says you shouldn't. He opens his mouth, he snatches the dart. He holds his arm horizontally. He moves his back leg when he releases the throw. There's no follow through. I've, I've never seen anything like it. Baffling. In number five, we have a fan favorite, Mr. Phil Nixon. Running up in 2007 to Martin Adams in a doozy of a world final. A very talented player, picked up a lot of money as well out in Asia playing darts. But a very unusual hop when he releases the dart. In number six, Tony Down. And this isn't just because he's slow. If you look how high that hand is, he actually pulls the dart back and the flight touches his forehead before he comes forward. When are you going to show two of his visits for obvious reasons? I don't want this video to be too long. It's almost like he's throwing the dart downhill in slow motion. I can't imagine at what point did, in it, did he think that's the way to do it. Yeah, he didn't have a bad career, but I think it's more down to the fact that others played terrible against him because he was so slow. Ability-wise, you shouldn't be there. I mean, look at this. That said, you can only beat the man in front of you. And he did, just in his own time. All the time. With every dart. Oh my word, he's still throwing. What is he doing? Moving on. For those that are still awake, next up we've got Bobby George. Two times News of the World winner. First ever player to average 100 on television. A two time World Championship runner up. And Bobby is opposite eye dominant and he pulls that dart directly under the opposite eye of his throwing arm. So his arm is completely at an angle when he throws. It's very, very unusual. We do have a video out on eye dominancy. So if you're interested in knowing more about that, by all means check it out. I'll leave a link in the description below. But that is incredibly weird. In number eight, we've got Nigel Hayden, a player I cannot watch. It's as if he's picking the dart up off the floor with his back bent. He's got a lovely follow through with the dart. It's very smooth. And the elbow is quite low though. It's slower than I would ever recommend. But it's a bit hunchback and Notre Dame. It's really weird. It's like he's tying his shoelace with one hand in between each row. But a fabulous talent nonetheless. This wasn't long after that Nick Kenny won his tour card, so he's playing Nick Kenny in very fine form. And he does a job on him in the end. Can't argue with that. In number 9, you all knew it was coming, Justin Pipe. He's not just here though because he's incredibly slow. It's that weird snatch as he kind of releases the dart. It's almost like he spits the dart off his fingers. Which I just, I can't really wrap my head around. Picks the dart up. Look how he kind of arcs his forearm. I don't know how he does that. It's really bizarre. And turns his hand 
so the dart is completely in one side of it. Before you ask, this is in real time, I am not slowing this player down. This is as quick as he goes. Just that spit and look at the elbow, because it just bounces upwards. But he's had a fabulous career in the PDC and he's been in some excellent form on and off this year, so I'm sure we're going to see him back very shortly. Number 10, Lorraine Wynn Stanley. Not just because of the complete lack of follow through, of which there is absolutely none, but look how she pulls the dart under the opposite side of her head, under the chin. I've never seen anything quite like that. It's a bit like Bobby George, but much lower down, actually under the chin with the flight, and then doesn't follow through. It's a terrible way to throw a dart, but she's very, very effective. A bit like Magnus Karras, Steady Eddie. A female equivalent, you could say. In number 11, Petri Court. Or as I like to call him, the camera shy dart player. I don't know why he's doing it. At what point did he start playing darts thinking this is the way to do it? I know it works for him, but, but why did he come up with it? If anyone knows the answer to that, put it in the comments below because I just can't get my head around it. Why would you want to pick your arm up before lifting the dart? And why would you want something shiny in the corner of your eye? Not a lot to say in terms of his career, made the prelim round of the World Championship. And a pretty decent player. I've seen him a few times, he is very talented, but this is weird. Don't try that at home, kids. In number 12, we have Alexandra Oroshkin. I remember watching this, looking at that scarf, thinking, that is the weirdest thing I'm going to see today. And then he threw. What? If you thought Lorraine Stanley didn't follow through, look at this. It's like his hand hits a brick wall and he sort of snatches the dart off his fingers. Pulls it out right to the side and it's baffling. But a world championship qualifier nevertheless, represented his country on many occasions and a very talented player. Next up we've got Ko Stomp, a European Cup singles winner in the BDO and the World Cup of Darts winner in the PDC back in 2010. Also made the semi-final of the Worlds in the BDO back in 2000 and a two times quarter finalist in the PDC World Championship as well. Despite his very unorthodox setup of the dart before pulling it back, he actually won 14 majors Ko Stomp and is set to play in the first Seniors World Championship next year. It's like he's pressing a button repeatedly before he pulls it back. And he still today, he's still at it. It's really, really strange. Apart from that, it's a lovely, lovely throw. Very good action. It's just such an unorthodox setup. In number 14, we have Dennis Smith, a player who always threatened to do great things in the PDC, but never really fulfilled his potential. He's on the list again for the setup of the throw. It looks like he's putting a spell on someone. Like a Halloween dart player. Look at that. That is creepy. Again, apart from this, he's got a very, very nice throw in action. He's a very consistent player. But it's so strange. I don't know why he does that. Also uses an incredibly small light dart with an extra short point. I think it's something to do with his grip. He like wraps his finger around the point and then spins the dart into the position he likes it. Next up, Mark Hilton. Qualified from the Grand Slam of Darts in the PDC and actually did quite well in it. But look at the bobbing of the elbow. He sets the dart way up above his head, bobs the elbow around with his arm at an angle. Why? I know, again, it works for him, but it shouldn't do. And if you look at the scores he's getting, he's so inconsistent. And it's got to just be down to the throw, because when he's on it, like now he is on it. And the games he did win, you tend to see him hitting a lot of 45s, 41s, and then 1040, 1080. Which is quite common for players who have an unorthodox throwing style. Look at his head on again, it's right above his head, and then he's dropping his elbow, as well as his arm with the dart before pushing it out. Again, I'm guessing he had that out at some point. If you do know, leave it in the comments below, but I couldn't find anything online. That's our top 15. That's been straight to the point. Please like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.